Hello, and welcome to the MindFish.com series on hard math questions. So, as I've mentioned before, I want to make sure that you guys have this book. What we're doing here is going through some of the hardest math questions in this book. Strongly recommend that you buy the official SAT study guide because it's got the most authentic questions. However, it doesn't have great explanations, so that's what we're trying to help you with is explaining some of the hard math questions. So this question that you see here is question 8 on page 527. It's, question 8 is it's a hard question here because it's the last question before the fill-in question. So you should expect that that last multiple choice question before the fill-ins is always going to be a hard question. So this question is essentially asking us if, how, if we understand um, a quadratic equation and, and actually if we understand kind of how to go from a factored form foiling to a, uh, a more true quadratic form. So we're looking for, in this case, the value of m. So I call these problems kind of quadratic equivalents. These two are equal, so what we want to do is get them in a form that we look, they look the same. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to FOIL the left side. So to do that, if you remember FOIL, which I think most of you do, first outside, inside, last, we're going to go k times k, which is k squared. Then we're going to go k times negative, or x times negative k, excuse me, kx. Negative 8 times x, and then negative 8 times k. Okay, now most, most of you guys can do that. I think the challenge here is, if this said negative 8k and negative 2k, you could easily say, oh, that's negative 10k. But what most people struggle with is, the, is this next step. I'm going to turn this into k plus 8x. The minus still applies to both the k and the 8, and they both still multiply by the x. So these are the same. It's just this is going to help me uh, when I try to do my next step. And then plus 8k. So now we've got an x squared term with a coefficient of 1. We've got an x term with a coefficient of k plus 8. And we've got a constant term that's 8k. Now what we do is we bring down our other quadratic equation, which is x squared minus 5kx plus m. And the idea behind quadratic equivalence is that the coefficients have to be the same. So the 1 is the same in front of x squared. It has to be the same. So these two have to be the same. k plus 8 has to be the same as 5k. So that's going to be the first thing I solve. I say k plus 8 equals 5k. So 8 is going to equal 4k. So k is going to equal 2. So now you can see that this would be 10, and this would be 10, and now they're the same. Now once I know k is 2, I know that this is now 16, and now I know m. m is going to be 16. Now this would have been you know, the, the algebraic approach. And as I've mentioned in some of the other videos, with most really hard questions, there's generally a way to go backwards or to do something a little differently. Here you might have thought about working backwards in the sense that if you picked 6, let's start with 24. If you made m 24, you would have to think of k being 3, but then 3 and 8 together make 11, and that's not going to generate the number we want. So we could iterate through these working backwards. You know, for 16, which is the right answer, if m is 16, then k is going to have to be 2. And then negative 8 and negative 2 makes negative 10. Put in the 2 for k, and you get negative 10. So working backwards which is an approach that we really stress on mindfish.com, would have been another way to get around this question. And that's going to be the case with most hard questions. If you don't know how to do it the algebraic way or the, using the right equation, ask yourself, could you draw a picture? Could you work backwards? Or could you make up numbers? Mindfish.com will help you ace the SAT. Practice for the test with SAT Quest, our online SAT quiz game with over 1,500 practice questions. Learn difficult SAT vocabulary words with short, funny, and memorable vocab clips on video vocab. We've got test prep pros from Harvard and Stanford standing by to give you the test prep guidance that you need. Master every concept on the test with SAT videos. Mindfish.com, your resource for all you need to ace the test.